So today we're going to be going over metallic crystal structures, a very important part of this course. They are densely packed um, unit cells. Typically one element is present in these structures. This results in the atomic radii for each particle being the same throughout. So they each occupy the same amount of space. The two simplest types one of the two simplest types of structures that can form are the body-centered cubic structure and the face-centered cubic structure. And they differ in the amount of atoms that can fit per unit cell, which we'll show later. So the most important factor in this is the atomic packing factor. Using this formula, we can determine the fraction of volume currently occupied by each particle. And you can see the formula to the left. It differs based on the type of structure present. So, for example, for the body-centered structure, the amount of atoms per unit cell becomes 2. And the volume changes from the 0.5a to the square root of 3a divided by 4. And the same thing happens for the face-centered cubic structure. The amount of atoms per unit cell goes up to 4 now. So it could fit 4 atoms per unit cell. And the actual area changes from from the square root of 3 over 4 to the square root of 2 over 4. So the unit cell is one of the most important concepts in getting this. It can determine the maximum amount of space available for the particles to occupy, and that depends on the type of crystal structure present. So, for example, a face-centered cubic structure the amount of atoms able to fit in one is four. And you can see in the picture below, it, if it was a square right here, you would be able to tell that it was it would only fit four. So you can see by this equation right here, six faces times one half, that equals three. And then the eight corner atoms present times one eighth, that would equal the last atom in the unit cell. So this is a model for the body-centered cubic structure, and you could see it in better detail right now that it actually looks like it only holds one atom. But the reality is, is that once you count up all these corners, there are eight corners present, and they form one complete atom. So really there's two atoms in this unit cell right now. And it's a good representation of how the unit cell actually looks. And we can see the same thing for the face-centered cubic structure. We can see that now it's visually more complex. And you can see that it has a semi-half circle about six are present. So each half, it takes two to add up to one atom. So you can see that there are actually three atoms present. And when you add up all the corners, there are still eight corners available. It actually ends up being four atoms per unit cell. And it's a bit easier to see now it's in fully three-dimensional space. And I hope this helps you understand basic concepts regarding this feature. Thank you.